All right, so this is just looking at something that I've loosely put together for the um, UW uh, W powerlifting team. And I'm going to use a particular example. I generally have this idea of tracking upward total sets of squat, bench, and deadlift, obviously, since it's powerlifting, um, uh, on a weekly basis. And having relatively low percentages, since we'd be fairly far out from a particular competition. Um, so the typical idea is... Week one, uh, a little bit lower set count, so about five each day. Um, uh, week two, a little bit more, adding uh, essentially an extra set of all the bigger movements. Um, week three, adding even more of that. And then week four uh, being a, a deload or unload or, you know, reduced intensity and uh, uh amount of volume overall. Now, there are only three days that I have planned. I understand that a lot of people are going to want to do more than that. And uh, uh, truthfully, a lot of people are going to want to do more than just these couple of basic exercises. And I think overall, they can work out an extra once, twice, three times. Uh, it really doesn't matter. And the other movements that they do, that doesn't matter so much either, um, uh, as long as they aren't annihilating themselves. So here, let's take a look at this. I think I have this set up in a particular way to where it's user-friendly. Um, so let's say that someone has a one repetition max squat of 365, uh, one arm bench of 285, and a one arm deadlift of 425. So there, that should auto-populate all of these so that they know what they're doing on any given day. So if day one is, it, if it's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it doesn't really matter. There will be five total sets, all five reps. I pretty much have everything be about five reps. It, I, it, it's typically relatively good for uh, powerlifting types. So I have it ramping up just a little bit. So they would do here, that rounds up to 275, that probably rounds up to 285, that 290, 300, 300, and so on and so forth. Um, I have in here um, some auxiliary movements where I notice a lot of people get injured. So there's a stiff leg deadlift, so just some hamstring or low back dominant thing. Uh, bent over barbell row, planks, rear delt work. I like face pulls. People can do bent over rear delt with uh, the, um, well, like either cables or dumbbells. It doesn't really matter um, uh, much to me. So that's how that week would look. And then uh, on the last day of the week, there is uh, essentially a competition type of day. So. AMRAP, that stands for as many reps as possible. So this is to update what the new max would be. So meaning that you go um, balls to the wall, as many reps as you possibly can, and let's say, I don't know, you get 10 here. You would just enter that in, and then on this next week, check that out. It updated what the maximum squat was. So then carrying on through this second week, there is a uh, bench press uh, AMRAP, as many reps as possible. And let's say with that particular weight, which is 80% of the current one repetition max, let's say they get nine reps uh, and, you know, before they die or whatever. Um, so 285 was the max before. Check that out went up by five or, you know, 10-ish pounds or so. And then on this very last week, let's check this out, the deadlift, um, uh, 80%, one repetition max. Let's say they get this, uh, I don't know, um, how about eight times since we've been doing 
10,998, so right there. So keep in mind, 425 was the current max. And over here, oh, it actually went down a little bit. So that must mean that they must be a little bit fatigued, and that's perfectly okay. Um, uh, and then this week being more or less a deload week, then we could uh, uh, rinse and repeat with effectively all of this again. Um, now, some questions that uh, uh, could arise, uh, warm-ups. Typically, good warm-ups are, you know, starting out with a bar, then 25%, 50% of whatever you're going to do for that day, and then carrying right on into it. Um, right now, I have these certain amounts of sets set up. Now, we might have some individuals that recover a lot better and need to do more sets, and some individuals that need to do less, and I think would be better if they either talk to me about that or um, or if they talk to Dan about that and just uh, saw what was going on. So, yeah, there we go. I think that this might make sense. I know it was a really fast video, but uh, just mess around with it and ask. All right, cool.